welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you 10 mum hacks that you need to know. And although I make so many mum hack videos on this channel, these are all brand new ones that you won't have seen before. So I really hope you like them. And I'm so excited because this is a collaboration with the amazing and beautiful Kate Renane. So after you watch this video, definitely go over to her channel because she is doing a further 10 mum hacks that you need to know. And what we thought we would do is mix up our hacks. So I'm gonna have five of Kate's hacks here in this video, and then five of my mum hacks are gonna be over on Kate's video. So definitely watch them all. There is 20 hacks in total, and I think that you'll get so many good tips from these. And yeah, if you don't know who Kate is, I'm sure that you already do. She's a huge YouTuber. She does lifestyle, beauty, fashion. Her hauls are amazing, and I have been a massive fan of her channel for the past four or five years, so I'm just so thrilled and honored to be collabing with her. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed both of these videos, and if you're just visiting over from Kate's channel, thank you so much for checking me out. I would love for you to subscribe and stick around. I post three videos a week on a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the hack. So my first tip is one for all the new mums out there or the mums that are pregnant that are about to give birth. All of my children are winter babies and those night feeds are so cold. So what I used to do is have a water bottle by my bed and when I would take the baby out of the crib and while I was feeding him, I would put the water bottle in his spot and then once he was done feeding and I would kind of burp him and then go to put him back, I would take the hot water bottle out of his bed again and then put him in the nice warm spot. I found that my babies used to wake up if I then put them into their cold bed on their own, but if it was nice and toasty warm, they were fine. Hello everyone, so my first hack is something I've used since my second little boy was born and that's a shoe organizer for his outfits. So I like to match up vests and sleep suits or trousers, jumpers and socks all in little outfits so they're ready to just grab and go and you don't even have to think about it. And I also have a hack for organizing your baby's clothes. I picked up these hanging dividers, which are great because they are labeled by age. So you can see the ones I have here go from newborn right up until they're two years old. And this can section your children's clothing so you know what they fit into and what they don't. This is great because babies grow so fast and it's been perfect for hand-me-downs. The next hack we found really useful since my little boy has been potty training. All you need is a plastic bubble bath or shampoo bottle, cut a hole in the top to fit over your tap, and a hole in the bottom to let the water run out and this acts as a tap extender so your little one can really easily reach the water and wash their hands. My next tack is to make a restaurant survival kit and I'm going to show you what I put in mine. I'm using an old cosmetics bag. This is great because it folds out and it has clear zip up pockets. So obviously you want to put in age appropriate things but I'm going to put in some cutlery and a bib. Disposable bibs are also fantastic for this. Also going to put in some wet ones because of messy fingers and straws for drinks. And another great hack is to cut your straws so that they're smaller because there is nothing worse than a very small drink and a very long straw. That is how my children spill them so often. I'm actually going to pack the scissors in as well. And you might want some markers. I'm also going to put in a coloring book and a dot to dot book for my older children. I'm also going to put in a little book, a Peppa Pig book for my baby, and then some age appropriate toys. We've got some Zoom Zooms, a car, even a fidget spinner for my eldest. So I'm just going to stick those in, and then I'm also going to put in a few little snacks. Snacks like raisins are great because they take ages to eat and they don't fill them up, but if food is taking a long time, it's a good idea to have snacks. And I also love having hand sanitizer. Obviously, your children are just about to eat, so it's great to be able to get the germs off of their hands hands and that is it that is my restaurant kit and honestly whoever you're with will be so impressed with this I don't know if my next hack is a little bit mean but at the moment it's working wonders especially at this time of the year so if you have an alarm system in your house and you have the little motion sensors in the corners of the room then you can pretend that this is Santa cam and Santa is watching to see if your child is being a good girl or a good boy Archie where's Santa <laughs> Up there. My next hack is a clever way of storing your duvet covers and pillowcases. All you have to do is find your duvet cover and then matching pillowcase. 
put the duvet cover inside that pillowcase and then kind of fold the pillowcase around the duvet cover. And this is just a really clever way of storing them because you'll never be looking for one or the other. And it also looks really nice and neat and tidy in your cupboard. Here are five of the boys' bed sets all done and they look so nice and neat and tidy and you'll never be looking for the pillowcase again. And I go one step further and even put it in a clear plastic box like this, which I picked up from Dan Elms. This next hack is great for anyone that is or is about to become a mum to a toddler and a newborn. It can be really hard in the first few weeks and months when you need to feed your baby but you need to keep your toddler entertained at the same time. So what I found is that having a little activity box with different toys, stickers, crowns, things that they don't usually have access to can be pulled out when you need that time to feed your baby and spend with them. My next hack is for any children that get their arms or legs stuck through the crib bars. I found this breathable bumper and you basically put this on the crib bars and this will stop them from getting their legs or arms stuck through but then you can also be safe in the knowledge that it is breathable so if they do put their face against it, it's fine. Next is a hack I haven't actually used yet because they're not quite old enough but I've used it for myself a good few times and I have it all ready for when I do need it. That is if you ever get chewing gum stuck on an item of clothing you just pop it in the freezer and then leave it to set and then you can just peel the chewing gum off. It comes off so much easier than if you're trying to pull it off when it's all still sticky and slimy and gross. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed these hacks and don't forget to check out Kate's channel for 10 further mum hacks and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.